Welcome everyone. I had so much fun making the first healing meditation with celestite um, that I decided to continue with this launch of these healing meditations and to continue this with monthly meditations and also with uh, one for the year. So this is for the month of February 2022 um, and I want to welcome you all to these these meditations these healing meditations as i will be uploading them to youtube and to instagram and of course i will be sharing the link on facebook also um so i'm i'm really pleased to be uh doing this and i know that um or from the comments that i've already received from those who've already seen the first weekly healing meditation the reception has been really positive um and people have been sharing what has been coming through for me so it has really me and inspired me and and as I said I, I enjoyed doing the first one so much I wanted to continue with this inspiration and so the message that came through the angel message that came through for this month was all about opening our hearts to love and now this sometimes can seem you know in words easy sometimes it seems trite or a cliche and you know what does it mean to open our hearts to love now Certainly, when we are moving into the, the new earth energies and into the consciousness of love, we need to first of all, of course, open our hearts to this love. But what does it mean when we have not always had a loving family or loving experiences or if we had difficult experiences when it's come to relationships, to um, experiences with family, um, with partners and so forth. And this is a bit of a paradox because from a psychological perspective, how can we have love when we have not received love, when we have not experienced love? And so we see often people repeating the same dynamics within their relationships. Uh, so depending on what they've experienced with their parental relationships, their attachment relationships. Um, and so what we can do when we move beyond just psychology or just biology, neurobiology, we can tap into, of course, the greatest force in the universe, in the cosmos, which is love. And so when we open ourselves to love, we can open up to this cosmic force that is love. And that when we can fill ourselves from the inside out with that love, then we can start to transform from the inside out. And it always starts with self-love. And, and this is also very confusing because people often will tell me, oh yes, I love myself, or they have affirmations about loving themselves. But I can feel when this is not true. It's disingenuous. It's a, the idea where you feel that you must love yourself and so you're trying to convince yourself that you do. But our body doesn't, um, it, it does not lie, it cannot lie. So it registers this mistruth and so therefore it registers this as a, a contradiction, a resistance in energy and, and that's what I'm feeling. So it does, the energy does not match up. And so for us to do this, to, first we must open ourselves up to love. And then when we open ourselves up to love, that means, of course, then opening ourselves to love for ourselves. And this is a very deep process. This is something that I know for me has taken years and I still have more to go. And so I know that it's not an easy process. It's not something that you can do away with one affirmation or one meditation but what we can do is step by step process by process um, releasing one belief system after another stories about ourselves beliefs about ourselves mental and emotional patterns even behavioral patterns when we do that then we can move forward in love step by step by releasing one belief one condition one a subconscious program at a time and so know that this meditation will support you in this process it will not automatically transform you into a being who is completely and utterly love but over time it can certainly support you to do this 
So I I want to introduce you to Fraser Light. Um, this is the crystal that came through for the month of February in helping us to, to open up to love. Now, I, I love this piece um, and it's not very common. Um, this is a particularly unusual one. It's what I call my porcupine because it's an inside out uh, geode. Um, but praiserlite, some call green amethyst. Now, technically, um, it's not a correct name to call it green amethyst, but it is amethyst that has either been heat treated by the earth through geothermal forces, so through natural heat in the earth, and has turned green, um, or can be heat treated by um, a man-made process and therefore yeah, turned green. Now, while it can have some of the benefits of amethyst, or certainly quartz in general, now with the green coloring, we can connect with the emerald ray. And the emerald ray is all about healing. And emerald ray is connected to Archangel Raphael, and is also connected to the light being known as Thoth. Now, some would call him as the Egyptian god Thoth, some know him as the god Mercury or Hermes. Um, they're the Roman and Greek respective names. But Thoth or Tahuti to some um, is a light being and was a master from Atlantean and Egyptian times. And he has written the Emerald Tablets and there are healing codes within the Emerald Tablets. So both Thoth and Archangel Raphael are uh, connected energetically with this crystal and certainly with the divine consciousness of this crystal that we'll be working with it brings to the power of both of them and so what this meditation will do and what praise light will help us to do is to open our hearts and as we open our hearts what we can do is ground our minds into our hearts and then ground our bodies into the earth. Now this is a three part process, which is what makes it powerful. In a way, it's a process of integration because we can connect mind to heart, heart to body, body to the earth. So when it comes to this, we can understand that um, while we want to leave a lead, a heart based life, this can be difficult when all our self talk, our beliefs, our inner critic, all of these programs, um, even sub-personalities or parts to ourselves can be critical and question all that is heart-based. And so when we ground our minds into our heart, our mind no longer becomes the dictator. And instead, what the Eastern traditions may say is that the heart now may become the emperor and the mind no longer is the dictator. And so the mind now can become a servant and can serve us. It is a wonderful tool, but it's a tool. And instead of being the dictator, we can be led by the heart. And so then when our hearts are open, we can connect our bodies into the earth. And so then we can be grounded in love, in Gaia, in Mother Earth. So this is what we'll be doing this week. And I will be, again, calling in the Keepers of the Keys, but also be connecting with Archangel Raphael and with Thoth. Again, you do not have to connect with them if you do not wish to. Um, certainly they are connected with me. They are part of Aria, my divine collective, a group of Archangel, Archangels, Ascended Masters, Light Beings who work with me and form a symphony of light, hence the name Aria. And so I will be calling in them and the Keepers of the Keys as we begin this meditation. Now, as previously, you need not do anything other than be comfortable. So if you wish to close your eyes, you may close your eyes. If you wish to keep them open and focus on pressure light, you may do so. And if you need to move, you may, need, you may move. There is no right or wrong when it comes to a healing meditation. And a reminder again, to drink water, to ground afterwards, 
So know that you should not be driving as you participate in this meditation or operating any heavy machinery. Um, and also afterwards when you're grounding, um, know that there may be a process over the next three days in releasing and integrating what is coming through for us. So let us begin as we have Archangel Raphael and Thoth here with us and connect with the divine consciousness of this crystal. And now I call in the keepers of the keys. Welcome, dear ones. We are most pleased to be here again with you and to know that we have more and more opportunities to be connecting with all of you so that we can bring you the energy of crystals and the energy of the divine and so that you may receive the benefits of all that we may bring to you and offer to you so that you may unfold in your soul's evolution and your soul's journey moving forward. So we have here, as Vicky has said, Archangel Raphael and Thoth. We also have her divine collective Arya in its entirety and her higher self Araya. And so now we call upon the higher selves of all who will listen and participate in this meditation in any future moment of now. And so we connect with the divine consciousness of Prajalite light and bring this energy forward to you and through you to envelop and surround you, to move through your bodies and your beings in all layers, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. And this energy is inseparable from Archangel Raphael and Thoth And they are connected with all of you according to your own free will choices. And so let us begin as it connects into your hearts and by connecting into your hearts, it connects into your throats and the entire heart triangle, the tree of life, heart, throat, gravora and the back of the heart. Know that it is opening through the back of the heart as well as the heart center. For the back of the heart relates to trust, dear ones, to trust this process, to trust the divine, to trust yourselves. And when you can do all those, you can be discerning into whom, with whom you may trust or put place your trust. And so, as we gently but with power open through the heart centers and through the back of your hearts. We expand through the entire heart triangle of the tree of life. And as your heart gently opens, so does your mind begin to drop into your hearts. And when your mind drops into your hearts, worries drop away, anxieties fade, fears diminish. For now you may open to the universal force that is love. So that you may know you are worthy of this love and that you are this love and in reclaiming this love for yourself you're returning to your own true nature your own true selves for your true nature is that of love And as the codes, the healing codes of the Emerald Tablets, by the being known as Thoth or Hermes Trismegistus, 
flows through your bodies, through your auric fields to receive these healing codes and that of the emerald ray of light and of patient light. And so now this moves deeper down into your bodies to open you and connect you to the earth. Opening the channels within your bodies to connect with the earth. Connecting you with the heart of Gaia. Connecting the heart of Gaia to your hearts. So allow this to flow through you, move through you. Now through the lightness of light, and through your multidimensional DNA. To receive the energy signature of love. For when you fill with love, so then dear ones, can you fill yourselves with love for yourselves and then radiate the love outward only as, as so much as you are ready, dear ones. Do not force yourselves beyond that which you are ready for. And so we only call in that which is in your best and highest goods and the best and highest good of all concern. And so we begin to dissipate this energy and allow the excess energy to return to the earth. Grounding you in this process, allowing the energy to unfold through your bodies, through your hearts, through your minds, as a three-part being of body, heart, and mind. Thoth gently withdraws his energetic presence, even as Archangel Raphael remains to continue the healing process and integration process for you as much as you're willing and allow. And so we conclude this meditation, dear ones. And we wish to impart to you that this process is one of great opening. Know that it can be both subtle as well as powerful, depending on where you are at upon your healing and spiritual journeys, what you're ready for and what is in your best and highest good. And again, you may repeat this process as often as you may wish as often as you are called to. And so let us say from our hearts to yours, we send you much love. It is Vicky back. Thank you for joining me in this meditation and for the angel message of the month as channeled as I channel the keepers of the keys and I wish you much love also and many blessings and again would love to hear how you all go and I look forward to the next one take care